Hola amigos, bien o no, y saludos desde Inglaterra. Um, hoy solo quiero compartir poco que yo estoy practicando hoy para mostrar que es muy útil utilizando muchas diferentes fuentes de información para ayudarnos para practicar nuestra nueva lengua. ¿no? So, este es el tema de hoy. So, Hello again from England. Um, today the weather is really terrible. Um, it's not even four o'clock in the afternoon, but it's quite dark already. There's a lot of rain and you know, storms, so it's a better day to be inside. So I've been practicing some of my um, Spanish uh, dialogues. This one particularly today, I thought I'd look at something quite basic, but to try and show you how easy it is to get multiple sources of information to help you hear different ways of saying pretty well the same thing. So I picked an easy example, taking a trip by taxi. And just looking at that on YouTube, I said, okay, I want to look at taxi trips in Spanish. I get a whole load of suggestions. I've watched the first sort of four of these um, short videos. I'll leave the links in the link in the description. You can have a look, but hopefully you'll see what I mean. With this, the, just these four videos in about half an hour or so, 40 minutes, I've been able to listen through to different voices from Spain, Mexico. So I have different accents, slightly different phrasing, but basically doing the same thing. And also I get the repetition of that. So throughout those four videos I've been watching, I get the same conversations repeated in subtly different ways, because maybe the, the, um, the sequencing of what they're saying is slightly different. In some cases there's more explanation. Other videos they give you, obviously they're going to different places. Um, but within that, lots of phrases repeat. So what I'm listening for as I'm listening to the repetition of the different videos is that's the same phrase again. And then from that, I end up with something that looks a bit more like that, which is a list of the key phrases, which is very helpful. So now I've got a list of the key phrases that we would generally use in that situation. Something like, ¿Cuánto me cobra? Me puede llevar, uh, donde le dejo, lléveme aquí, o cuánto le debo, for example. So I have a list of the, the key phrases that I know I'm going to use in that situation, but also I've just been practicing them by listening for the last half an hour to different people with different accents talking about the same thing. So doing it that way, hopefully you'll see that because you get the same type of conversation, but it's repeated by completely different people in different ways, you really start to see a very realistic um, examples of what it really sounds like. So when you're in that situation, you have heard most of the phrases you're going to need. So again, it won't be such a shock. Obviously, you can then go back and take from the different, uh, let's say, videos you've watched, different conversations you've heard. You can take from that the common phrases, because they're the ones you're going to need for sure. But also, you're using all of that listening time to expose you to different voices, all the variety of vocabulary that you're going to hear in those situations. So when you're there, and it's your turn to speak, the whole thing should make more sense. And this is a little different from you just relying on only memorizing very strict dialogue. When we do need to know some of the key phrases, this is true, but also it's very helpful to have listened to lots of different ways of saying basically the same thing. You know, um, I'd like a taxi. Do you go to this destination? Can you take me to this place, please? How much will that cost? Or oh, you can leave me here. What do I owe you? How much is it? So the key phrases are pretty much the same, but as you are well aware, there are lots of different ways that different people ask the same thing. And that's where listening to lots of different examples of a very similar conversation will help you a lot because it gets you used to listening to all of the ways native speakers 
use their language to express the same thing. Try it. See what you think. Déjame saber en los comentarios. But for now, I'm going back to the taxi. Cheerio for now.